Welcome to the night. Tumby Bay just running out onto the ground, led by the male medalist, Brenton Lambshed. It's a lovely day for football. It's just a light breeze, slightly favouring one end. Our Ramblers are coming on the ground, led by Peter Fitzgerald. Both sides are near full strength, and it should be a great game. Just for his comments on who he thinks are likely to win it today, I'll hand you over to Chaz. And the experienced players to pull this one off against Tumby, who have not played in a final for a number of years now. There goes the siren for the start of the game. Hartle bounces the ball. Peter Fitzgerald gets off the boot. Harris picks the ball up. It's a scramble. It's out. He's been given a free. He plays on immediately onto the left foot. Goes out wide with a wobbly old kick under the wing. There's a free for a high tackle gone. Plays on now towards Richardson, who takes a good strong mark with his body well in front. Leads on now. Goes in towards Pedler. He's underneath the ball as the pack develops and there's the ball up. It's quite a good bounce. Carr goes for the ball, misses it. It's knocked out towards Pedler. A left foot kick and it's off line for a point. The first score. Kicking over the other side of the ground. Looking out there for Carr. But Bruce Blacker, yes, and he's taken the mark. Plays on straight away and grabbed. Pedlo picks it up, gets the left footer into no one in particular. Ray Fitz is out there, running in. Ball eludes all of them. But now it's into Neil Pedler, running through. Gets the hand, big handball back towards Darlitz. There's nobody there. Brent pass. Darlitz now picks it up, has a kick smothered off the boot. Put back in. Shane Harris, who gets the handball straight across to. to Mooney. Mooney, Kevin Mooney gets a kick down and Ron Coff has taken a strong mark on the back flank, steadying the game. Both sides still a bit nervy, gets the ball up to Bruce Blacker, takes the mark, plays on again and kicks into the man and it's Harris. smothered off the boot by Harris. Cromer picks it up, left legger in towards Caulfield. and he gets carried out of the game by Richardson. And there has been a free given towards Pee Wee. Gets it on straight away over towards captain coach Peter Fitz, who's outreached at that stage by Peter Allen. Turns around, gets it on up towards the wing. Shane Harris in front and takes the mark. Juggled it a bit, but he held the mark. He kicks in towards the centre position. And it is... Caulfield takes a mark, gets his right legger on, but there's nobody home for Tumby and Trevor Temple takes a mark all by himself. That's the centre half back posi to position. Kicks forward now, slightly out towards the ring. Carr goes for the ball one handed and misses it. He's tapped out of the pack. Mooney tries to get rid of it, but he's held by one hand and it's a rambler's free kick. Hughes plays on now, it's a high, awkward looking kick. Lambshed towards the ball, picks up well. Good handball back to no one in particular. Henry. Henry Pedler goes onto his left foot. The ball's going towards the boundary and it's out of bounds. Plays on across the southern. He ducks under a tackle. Kicks the ball in towards the centre. Higgins gets under it and takes a well-judged mark. He's thrown to the ground. Uh, his play on. Kicks long now down towards the flanker looking for Burton. Ball's off hands, Caulfield goes into the pack. Scrimmage develop. Ball's bounced now. It's Blacker against Sorrell. Sorrell gets the tap. He's received a free for too high over the shoulder. <coughs> Kick, but he should get the distance. Ball's dropping short into the square. It's off hands, Higgins in possession. He's tackled. He's tackled again. It's a bit of a scrimmage. And Ramblers come away with the ball through Coff. With a short little pass out on the half-back flank. Uh, Laurie. 
Laurie passes short now. Just walk. Well done, yeah. Richardson. Well done. It's a bit of a scrimmage now. Rambler's in possession. Rambler's again across to Ray Fitzgerald. He plays on, looking for Pedler. And he's taken a good... Oh, that's Oswolf, Tumby Bay. Plays on now down towards the wing, looking for Lockyer. And he's, he's showing how to do it. He's got in front, taking a good mark. Looks to the centre now, but it's a bad pass and it's been taken by Bruce Blacker. Good falling mark on the chest. Looks around, but no one coming past. Goes slowly back now for his kick. It's a wobbly old kick into the forward line. And Allen comes out and meets the ball well, taking a well-judged chest mark. He plays on now across towards the centre, looking for Sorrell. Ball's knocked away from him to Whitaker across to Cromer, back onto his left leg. Well smothered there by Fitzgerald. Gerard Secker goes across now. On a courageous mark there taken by Greg Hughes. Greg Hughes on the wing. Kicks forward now. Fitzgerald. Looking for Ray Fitzgerald. He's going for the ball. Nobody can pick it up. Thank you. And Fitzgerald kicks in towards Dodal. It's only takes a magnificent mark over the top. Held it, no worries. Darlitz in the left hand forward pocket. Possibly uh, 35 to 40 metres out from goal on a very... Running in now, usually a good kick. Oh, and it's a shocker. And Oswald takes a safe chest mark. Safe as ever, Bill Oswald. Turns, turns out the opposite side of the ground. Coming out towards Lockyer. And he takes a mark and he's off. Kicks it down towards the wing. But Peter Fitch chips in. Taps it over the top. Comes through all by himself. Got time to look. Kicks it on to Kevin Futch Peddler, but he misses it. Pee Wee Richardson's got it now. Gets the handball in towards Mark Shane Harris. Mark Harris being checked and collared by Butch Peddler, and they're all down on the ground. And the umpire moves in, and it comes again. Richardson versus Carr. Richardson in front gets the ball too high. No, he's held holding the ball, and the free kick goes to Caulfield. Gets it up to Shane Harris, and he gets takes the mark as well as a free. Attack there, taking it very slowly. Coming out here towards Lambshed. Gets the handball across to Higgins. Higgins gets the left footer in, but it's a very low. Temple back there by himself. Gets it across to Fitzgerald, who will then turn, kicks it back to whence it come. Jared Sacker drops the mark, gets a left foot kick. There to Harry all by himself, but he spills it too. The ball is into, into the scrum. Ray Fitz moving through. Peter Fitz coming through now. Get, knocks it out to Graham Laurie. Gets on to Tumby. Bruce Blacker up for the ruck. Uh, Gary Carr now has it. And he's muffed it. He's tried to bounce the ball and he's got held. He's muffed it up. Walker picks up the ball. Clears out to Minhard. Halfway between the back flank and the wing. Gets the kick on down towards the centre forward line to Richardson. But he is hammered from behind. Harris picks up the ball out of the pack, gets the left footer into Lockyer. He's going hard. And there's indecision. There we are, Richardson. But it's a good mark taken by Mark Harris in front. Goes back, looking to across towards the centre there, to his brother Shane, and takes another good mark in front. He's a good player, this boy. Oh, it's a bad kick. He's kicked into the man on the mark. Harris goes with a little short chip across the top to Kevin Sorrell. I think he made 55 yards. <laughs> the umpire's given away a fifth. Should get this one. It's a bad looking kick and it's gone offline to the right and only scores a point. Kicks out with a high drop punt. Mark. And it's a good, good mark in front taken there by Martin Fitzgerald. Kicks along across the wing now, looking for Parsons. The great mark chipping in sideways there was, was Harris for Tumby Bay. Mark Harris, that is. A good little left foot pass across Tony Higgins. He bursts away, looking in long now towards brother Stephen. He's behind. Shane Harris gets it, runs around and drops the ball. And a speed. He goes wide now, but it's for big Peter Burton. Kicks it in right into the square now. They go up, but it's a good mark taken by Minard. On the last line of defence, the saving mark. He kicks wide now into that dead pocket again with a long screw pump. Rambler's in front. 
by Fitzgerald and he recovers well, kicks it onto the wing with loose checking here. News marks all by himself. Plays on now, looking up towards the half forward flank. Blacker chips in, almost spoils his own teammate, but eventually takes a mark. Kicks across towards centre half forward now, towards Pella. But Oswald well in front. Oswald takes a kick from centre half back. Tony almost. Higgins. Tony Higgins under the ball and takes a mark, uncontested. Gets it on straight away, right at it. It's a boomer of a kick, right down. And then Higgins underneath it, Peddler. Happy Peddler comes out with the ball. Drop pass, punt. Straight across to the other side of the ground and out of bounds, beating Peddler and Sorrell. Contest. Peddler comes out with it onto his left boot. Hooks around, but he's kicked it out half forward. Lockyer underneath it with Laurie. But Peter Fitz has grabbed the crumbs again off the pack and aims straight for the boundary line. And Sorrell and Peddler again. Peddler wins out. Gets it down to Fitz, who in turn gets it across to Cousin Martin on to Ray Fitz. And he gets a little kick over the top onto the wing. Harry comes, comes through, takes the handball, running through to centre half forward line. Gets the kick down. Secker underneath it, drops it. Gary Carr takes a pack, takes the crumbs, has a shot. Hooks it round, it's it's nowhere. Higo has it by himself, gets a kick in, but he's too short, gets it to Lambshed, and gets a kick on to Secca. Minard's in run with the ball, kicks it off the ground. Cross to Danny Cromer, who has a shot for goal. And what's he done? Yes, he's put it through the middle for the first first goal in this grand final incumbents for 1981. Ball tight. So against Blacker. Blacker gets a slight edge. Tumby for the ball through Mooney. Battling for it on the ground now. And yes, he's been paid a, paid a free. No, the free's gone to Tony Higgins. Higgins goes across to centre half forward now. Mamshit under the ball, can't mark it. There's Minard there for centre half back. Ducks around now, he's held by Lamshit. Lucky to get away with that. And the news has been given a free for in the now by Dalitz. Centre half forward. He's in front, and a good strong mark taken by Dalitz. Must get in front of a player like that if you want to win the ball. Kicks up towards the full forward area now, looking for Dagwood Peller, but Oswald keeps him out. It's knocked out now towards Peller again, taps it back towards the goal. Richardson there, but he can't take it. Still battling for the ball. It's knocked towards the boundary now. So and Butch Peller up. So takes the ball again himself. It's across to Higgins now. He can't pick it up. It's interfered with. Slowly across to Ronnie Koff playing a kick behind the game. Ball bounces around. Blacker, Higgins takes the ball, kicks it in long now, looking for Shane Harris. He's dropped this one, should have taken it. Happy Peller comes away with a good clearing kick out towards the wing. Hughes goes for it one-handed, still in control. Ducks around his opponent now, good handball over the top there. Fitzgerald kicks the ball in looking there, no, it's taken away by Caulfield. Well read, read off the packs. And a good mark, strong mark taken by Peter Burton. He'll go back looking to kick long. Looking in there for Shane Harris, it's knocked away from him. Taken away in the back pocket there by Temple, he kicks a hobby, high wobbly old kick. But a spurt and all by himself takes the easiest of chest marks. Kicks across towards centre half forwards now there. Nobody can mark it, it's off hands. Blacker handballs out to Minard. Kick smothered brilliantly by Lambshed. He lines up for an open goal. And yes, yes it's a goal. Tumby go to a two goal break. Pedler, up they go. Pedler wins out, down to Walker. But he's immediately sat on and gets the free kick for in the back. Walker wearing that famous number 10 Guernsey today. <laughs> Walker kicks it, it's high in the air. There's a pack underneath it, Darlitz in front. And has he paid? Yes, he's got it. Hit him on the shoulder first, but he managed to, con to control it. Gets the kick straight on up to the forward pocket where Peter Fitz, his captain coaches, and Ray Fitz, who grabs a ball off the pack. The ball's up in the air, Harry picks it up, turns around onto his left leg, kicks it straight back in towards Butch Peddler, who immediately hits. <laughs> Uh, Ovens. Ovens has the ball clearing kick out of the back pocket to Lockyer or Butch Peddler and takes a screamer of a mark over the top and it should be a 15 yards yes
No, I'm alright. Chance to score. He's on a very acute angle. He's lining it up. Running in. Kicking. It's curling a bit. Some who Dalitz was up, but it's forced through for Rambler's second point. So out by Oswald. Laurie's underneath it and Harris. Butch Peddler takes Mooney. knocks it around. Mooney in the run. Jared Secker gets picks up the ball in the under pressure. Laurie picks it up. Gets gets held when not in possession, according to the umpire. And gets the free kick. Kicks it straight on up to Ray Fitz, who has the ability to get out by himself. Takes a mark on the forward on the forward flank, right hand forward flank. And it's a big screw punt right into the goals. Uh, car, drops. car drops a chest mark, something he should have taken. And the umpire favours the other side of the ground. Looking out, looking out there for Mooney, all by himself. Gets pressure, goes around it, gets the handball on to Cromer, who is met almost met by Bruce Blacker. Cromer picks up but can't get rid of the ball. Hughes has it and he's tagged and he's held him all out to Mooney. And uh, Cave races away with the ball, gets the ball up to Michael Harris who has just come onto the ground. Up to Sorrell on the, just a bit further out from the forward flank. Gets a big kick up towards Burton. But he is spoiled. Peddler comes in, picks up the crumbs, but kicks straight into the man. Ball coming in. Sorrell versus Blacker. Blacker trips over. Sorrell in the race for the ball. Walker picks it up. Henry Peddler's on the bottom of the pack. Gets the handball out towards Bruce Blacker, who can't keep his feet, and gets kicking into a slight breeze here at Cummins. Kicks it across, but he's kicked it too far, and it's out on the full. Denny Cromer gets the kick, kicks it straight in towards the centre. And nobody goes up and it's, everybody misses it. But there's plenty of ramblers there. Henry Peddler picks it up, doesn't look, and kicks it straight in towards the centre where there is three tummy players, two ovens. Marks it, kicks it, and Harris takes a beautiful mark. In front, moving around the side of Minard, got in front and took the mark. Thinks he can pot this. Usually very accurate. And it's, no, he hasn't quite got the distance. Richardson in front, and he's paid the mark to Burton. And nevertheless, it's another goal to Tumby. And they go further ahead now. That's Peter Burton's first goal. It's a good, good play there by Shane Harris. Uh, bounced now by Ardell. Carr against Blacker. Carr gets the tap to nobody. It's knocked away by Ramblers. Oh, sorry. The ball's kicked on ovens. Wobbly old kick, a bad bounce over Minard's head. Fitzgerald backs him up, Harris, ball taken away from him and one-handed and it's paid as a throw, across to Minard. He kicks wide now, looking out for Peter Fitzgerald all by himself on the wing. Has one bounce, kicks on his left foot now and as usual an accurate pass across to Parsons, takes a falling mark. He's well held there, not allowed to play on. Goes back for his kick now. Kicks a wobbly old kick into the forward lines. Southern, Starla's up. Beautiful tap across there to Parsons. Parsons. Quick snap onto his foot. Ball will lose them all now. Tumby Bay first to the ball. Scramble develops. Ball's knocked out to Southern. Gets a wobbly old kick on the Oswald. He can't handle it properly. It backs up well. Good handle, handball knocked away there from Fitzgerald. Car backs up again, knocks it through. It's a scrambly passenger play here at the moment. Lamshed comes in, he does something with it. A good handball out the cave. A long left handball to nobody. Carr picks up, kicks along with his right foot into the open space that's in half forward. Higgins knocks it on brilliantly. Harris, but he's well tackled there by Minard. Higgins again, left handball out to Burton, across to Sorrell, under his right foot. Belongs. He should get this, eh? Yes. Goal umpire moves across a little bit, but he's... Steve Harlett bounces the ball in the centre. Blacker versus Carr. Carr wins out down to Lambshed. He's immediately grabbed. The umpire steps in to mount the ball again. Same two Ruckman up. This time Blacker wins. No, he's given a free away. Because he had his boot too high on the ground. Up, off the ground. Carr to take the free kick. And it's a long kick right down the centre of the ground. It's 
quickest way. Coughs underneath it. No, Ramblers are spoiling themselves. Ron Coff picks up. Out to Cromer, who's running straight towards the boundary line. He's got hold of by Richardson, who takes a bounce, gets a big handball across to Hughes, but bounces, eludes him. Burton, Burton in, in the run. But the pack has formed. Higgins gets the ball out onto his right leg, kicks it back. Peter Fitz underneath, should take a safe chest mark and does. Taking his time. He knows there's not much time left in this quarter. Kicking into the wind. Kicks the ball back. Looking out there for Peddler. No, sorry, brother Ray Fitz, right on the boundary line. Turns around, takes a kick. Looking up there, big pack forms. Brent Parsons comes out with the ball, kicks it up, up towards Ovens, who spills, gets spoilt. Butch Peddler tags him. Yes. And Butch <laughs> kicks the ball up to the centre line. Ray Fitz reads the pack, reads it off the pack. The siren goes for the end of the first quarter in this uh, grand final of 1981. The scores four goals. Side advantage of the breeze. The next quarter will tell a story. <coughs> this breeze, they should be able to get that four goal back. Quarter. It's been in a kick straight down the ground now. Looking for Henry Pedler. He can't mark. Lamb shed in front. No, he's paid the ball. He's paid the mark. The, he's paid the mark. The pedler came in from behind. Must have had first grab at the ball. It's a high screw pump. Going slightly off the beat. Oswald drops the ball off his chest right in the goal square. Suddenly in over the ball, battling for it, and has paid the free for in the back. In fact, he goes wide. Allen by himself. Mark not paid. Fitzgerald comes in. He's He's paid a free kick, plays on quickly across to Dagwood. Peddler, he's taken a strong mark right in front of the goals. He'd only be 20 metres. He got eight last week. Sorry, nine. At himself. Harris goes back. It's a good long drop punt in towards the goals there. Menard. But Menard in front takes a well-judged mark. Now he's kicked long to the outer side of the ground. Looking for Graham Laurie. He can't mark the ball. Backed up by Blacker. You can't pick it up now. Goes across now, the handball out there by Ray Fitz. A lorry. A lorry all by himself. There's Fitz, Fitzgerald, there's trouble here. He goes one bounce, two bounce, three bounces towards an open goal. And he scored a goal. And the Ramblers get closer, there's only... Blacker against Sorrel. Sorrel. <laughs> gets nowhere. Mark Walker is grabbed and umpire says he gets pushed in the back from Higgins walk up to take the free so right on centre kicks up looking for the big fellas yes and the free is being given to John Southern here on the back flank for infringement <coughs> on the packs Ron Koff almost takes a chest mark walk up comes out with it gets the handball two handballs Henry Pedler is right on the hammer of Lambshed, who gets the free. He's hammered straight away and kicks straight up to Minard. Ever reliable at centre half back. Big long kick coming very close to the boundary. Darlitz is in front, but gets a push in the back. Harris gets a kick in towards the centre. Ray Fitz gathers. Big handball over to brother Peter, who can't quite grab hold of it. Big Bill Ozzie comes boring out of full back. A lot of blacker kicking. Usually a good kick. Has kicked 100 goals in the game. Uh, Southo's taken a mark right on the goal line for Tumby Bay. Just showing a little. Uh, <laughs> the ball comes back into play and Ray Fitz receives a free for around the neck. Deep in the kick straight on, looking for a pass to Pedler. it's too high for him, he gets, recovers, gets, tries to get the tap, Billy Oswald is grabbed by the leg and receives a free out of that pack, Bill Oswald playing very well on, on Pedler. comes in, she's a kick out towards Danny Cromer, Cromer almost gathers, Harry gets it, Cromer gets dropped, Denny Cromer to take the free for we don't know what yet. Cromer gets the left foot kick up to Dunn. 
right here in front of us. Gets the kick. Shane Harris. To Shane Harris. Goes over their heads. Being chased by Temple. Gets caught. Gets a little kick onto Burton who gets carried. Into Michael Harris who picks up the ball and he's caught. Pee Wee Richardson comes through. Picks it up. Kicks a little jab out to Jared Secker. But it comes untucked. Unstuck. Lockyer comes through with a left leg straight in towards goals, but Happy Peddler is back there and takes a free kick unopposed. Another drop pass out to the other side of the ground. The old stager does it again. Air Peninsula captain for many years. And he runs around that bloke, no worries at all. Gets a short pass up towards Brenton Parsons, but it goes out of bounds. On, I think Cough beat him too. Fitzgerald gets another tap. Oz picks up the ball, gets a handball over to Dunn. Breaks away. breaks away on the right leg. Kicks in towards Cromer at the centre. Gets a big handball over to Lambshed. Running through very well here, Tumby. And Lambshed gets it over to Sorrell. Who turns, runs, big kick in towards Tumby's goals. But Happy Peddler there. Takes another mark. Safe in the back. Full back line. Kicks it out to Temple. Forward flank now. It's kicked across towards... It's sterile to this, I think. Kicks it off the ground hurriedly on his left foot. Looking to no one in particular. Ball knocked away from Secker. Parsons. Parsons, he's ridden to the ground and given a free for a push in the back. Kicking towards the centre of the ground, looking for Ronnie Coffey, leads for the ball. He's gone over his head, off hands from Lambshed there. Picked up by Ray Fitzgerald onto his left foot. In towards Mark Harris. He takes a juggled mark. Yes, it's been paid. He plays on immediately now onto his left foot. Here's a good pass. In towards Tony Higgins, who takes a mark all by himself. Goes to play on this. Get call play on. The crowd's going wild about that, but I think it was a correct decision. They're looking for someone now. Going up towards the half forward line, towards Kramer. Makes front position. No, it's been paid the other way to use. Chipped in at the last minute to take a good mark. He looks to the centre now for Rambers. Kicks the ball very high. Comes in now. Cough underneath the ball. Knocked away from him by Tumby. Nobody can pick it up. Scramble develops. Harris gets the ball out with a handball to Ovens. Who drops it. Didn't really want it. Cave now with a left handball across to Oswald. Taken away from him by Peter Fitzgerald. Snap on his left foot. Ball rolling in towards the pocket. Southern takes it away. Well backed up there by John Southern. Comes around the boundary now and takes Tumby out of trouble. Good, strong mark by Mooney. Held position well in front of Fitzgerald there. Hassel. It's cave under his left foot now. Well backing up. In towards Michael Harris. Punched away from him. Shane Harris can't pick the ball up. Makes front position. And he's been paid against him for holding the ball. Good tackle there by Minard. Minard, I think it was. He's playing pretty well at the moment. I think Shane Harris had the better of him in the first quarter, but he's right on top at the moment. It's a wobbly old kick in high. Looking for Dalitz, I feel, with that wobbly high kick. The good mark there by Rexy Whitaker. He looks across the centre now. Slightly pulls the ball, but Lockett gets in front and takes a good mark. Almost played on there. Lucky to get away with that. Doesn't know where to go. Now he goes wide looking for Peter Allen, who's dropped out by himself. But he's chased here by Secker, it is again. <laughs> Allen onto his left foot, looking for Higgins, but he overruns the ball. Dunn comes in. Played on now, Fitzgerald onto his left foot. Lambshed reads the play well and takes a mark behind the play. Goes on now, onto his right foot, long low kick, looking for Harris, he misses it. Almost taken one hand by Shane Harris. He's just... He's trying to pick the ball up, and he's tagged from behind, and will take the free kick for Rambus and the half-back flank. Kicks forward now, looking for Dalitz, and he's taking a very strong mark, just too big for Southern at that stage. Goes back quickly, kicks in with a boomer of a kick in, right in towards the square, looking for Peddler, pushed out of the raid, jostled there with Oswald. Peddler comes in with a strong body, scrambled away now, Lambshed out into his left, dodges around the player, takes a handball and kicks onto his right foot and taking the ball away to safety again. He's gone out wide to Laurie who drops the mark, turns around and recovers well. Unopposed now, now he's being chased but he's fumbled the ball, it's good pressure. It's Dalitz, a wobbly old kick. Whitaker picks it up, a handball across to Cave. Cave onto his left foot going straight down the centre of the ground. But it's a badly directed kick and 
well taken mark on the chest by Jared Secker. He goes back now, looks. It's another wobbly kick. There's been some poor kicking today. Carr punches the ball away. The Fitzgerald reads it best. Cough with a quick handball out. Hughes. Hughes. Tried to play for the free there, but didn't work. Higgins picks the ball up, comes in now, but it's Pee Wee Richardson all by himself. Burton too far behind him at that stage. Pee Wee goes to the centre. Secker there by himself. Can't handle the ball. Now he does. Round onto his left foot, straightens up. Kicks in. High again. Oswald meets the ball, traps it. Now he can't get it. Almost gave a free away there. Southern backs up well. And he comes in with another high kick. Rambler's in front there. Well battled by Caulfield, gets it out to Kramer. Good handball across to Sol and the ball's eluded him. Hard body clash here and Sol's given away a free for in the back. And it's Gerard Secker to take the ball. Experience there, turned his body into the, into the play. So off the side of his boot now, in towards Carr and Cough. Neither can mark the ball. Henry Peddler, Cough knocks it out. Across to Bush Peddler. Hooks, hooks it back around, but well smothered by Mark Harris. Uh, Rambler's clear away through Hughes onto his left foot. Ronnie Cough will mark. Hands well out in front of the body there and took a good strong mark, using all his experience. Here Cough to kick up. Looking for Peddler on the lead. And yes, yes, he holds the mark. He's kicked one from here, Flegger. Looks very good at this stage. Umpire is goal. Umpire says it's a goal, yes. So that is Rambler's three goals, one. Bounced. Blacker against Sorrell. Blacker just wins out. Cough has it again. Big handball forward. Blacker in the run. Bend it down. Falls over and he gets a free kick. I don't know what for, but he receives it in here. Possibly the only one going for the ball and the player running straight into him from the front. Blacker gets the kick up towards... No good shaking your head, big fella. Southern kicks across to the other side of the ground. Out to where... Uh, Lockyer. Lockyer takes the mark, gets it back into Higgins. Running through, ran around one player, kicking it long up towards... And Richardson takes the mark there for Ramblers extremely safely. Kicks it out, a big long kick. Out towards the other side of the wing, go over to Ray Fitz, who in then turn gets it along to Jared Secker, who can't control the ball. Yes, he's picked it up. Gets a short pass, but but Billy Oswald again is in, in the road. And he takes a safe mark to relieve the pressure for Tumby. Oswald kicks it up towards the wing. Oh. Sorrell takes a big mark over the top of Darlitz. The kick. Kicks it forward, looking out there for Lockyer. And the ball has alerted to Lockyer. Kicks it up in the air, but Minard's underneath and should take the mark. Yes, does take the mark. Should almost receive a 50. Kicks. Looking up there for Darlitz. And does he? No. Sorrell takes it this time. It's a short pass into the centre to Whitaker, is it? Yes. Can't mark it. Fitzgerald comes through with kick it off the ground. He's still Tumby Bay clear it yet again. Up there towards a group of players. Michael Harris got it now. Handball's out to Carr, who doesn't look to be running real well at this stage, but he seems to be, well, he's all right. He taps it back and straight down the throat of Martin Fitz, who in turn kicks it. Big, long, high kick up. To Oak on a lead from Cromer. And he receives the free kick. Richardson arriving just a fraction late. Danny Cromer kicks on looking for Carr. But he's out, outdone by Secker on that stage. It's in the pack, formed in the pack. Secker comes out with the ball, kicks it up high up in the air. Fitzgerald and Ovens underneath it. Cromer comes through, taps it out the back. Fitzgerald now has control. Picks it up, looks forward, kicks. But again, Billy Oswald will take a chest mark in front of... Dagwood peddler, Dagwood at the moment. Boots it up, back up to the wing. The pack of flyers comes down to Butch Peddler, who gets a big handball over, looking for captain coach Peter Fitz, and he's got it. Big handball forward again. Gets pushed out of the road. There's plenty of Tumby players there. They've got all day. Peter Fitz playing like a champ. 
Gets it back. Danny Cromer takes the mark. A Rambler centre half forward. Gets a little kick to no one in particular. Harry takes it. Just gets missed by Pee Wee. Ball goes up towards Michael Harris. It was a good solid hip and shoulder, I think. Actually, I think that's bad umpiring. He's taken the ball back there to Michael Harris, but Stephen Higgins was all out by himself and would have got a goal. So pocket. Push pedal up really high. The ball taken off hands and now it's touched and kicked through for a point to Tumby. Kicks and five marks at this stage. Happy Peddler kicks out the eastern side with a long kick and Lockyer takes the screamer. It's, yes, it's paid. I thought he was going to pay it on for a while. Lockyer doesn't know where to go. He just kicks in anywhere at the moment. Car goes for it, drops a sitter. He can't seem to hold the ball at all this year. Henry Peddler. And it's pushed Peddler up. He gets a tap again. He's got a very high leap. Although much shorter than Gary Carr, he, he continually getting the knock at this stage. Hartle bounces the ball. It's Carr in again. This time he gets a tap, but it's knocked over the boundary. Sorrell in. It's more direct tap. But no one there. Higgins tries to pick it up, and it's over the boundary again. Scores three goal three to Ramblers, and Tumby four goal two. Caulfield receives a, a free now. Burrows in under the pack, as always. Kicks the ball forward. And a good mark there. Minard using his body well, chipped in front of Shane Harris, out positioned in that time. It's a high screw punt towards the other side of the ground. Mark Harris up well, punches the ball away from the back. Picked up there by Butch Peddler. Hooks it back, but it's smothered off the hands. Now on with the game. Joe, the big kick up towards centre half forward, looking for Cough. No peddlers. Go up, flies, misses. Gets back towards the wing. Darlitz again come bursting through. But uh, lost the ball, cross to Denny Cromer. In turn, tries to handball it to Burton, but he's a bit too slow at this stage. And through comes Mooney. Mooney. He almost tagged. Doesn't get any sort of a kick, but uh, Lambshed's got control. Puts it out, and Temple, Shane Harris has the ball, kicks it high in the air. Caulfield on it for us. Caulfield, and it's forced out of the pack to Mooney. Who in turn across to Harris, who grabs, gets grabbed out of the road. Gets a short pass up to Lockyer. The left leg shoots, fires, and hits the post, I think, Tom. Kicking it straight to Gary Carr, I don't know why. The pack of flyers and the ball's underneath there somewhere. McInerney comes through and gets thrown down. Young will take the free. Kick down towards the wing, looking for Ray Fitz underneath it, caught underneath it. Oven takes a mark over the top. Safe mark. Now looking. Kicks up towards Burton. Richardson thumps away from him. Lockyer grabs the ball, looking for it. Minard chips in and takes a chest mark in the left-hand forward pocket for Tumby. To relieve the pressure here for Ramblers. Big kick out to Darlitz and he takes a safe mark over the top of Lambshed, who's giving away approximately a foot. Darlitz now comes in, kicks up to Cough again, and he takes a safe mark. Almost at the, on the centre wing for Ramblers. Takes off straight away onto the left leg, looks for Brenton Parsons and finds him. A very safe chest mark. Turns around, kicks, looking back up there, put it up in the air. The Dagwood peddler takes a great mark in front of the pack and relayed it down ground. And Stagwood lining up for his third goal. And on the left foot, but he's hooked this one and has gone away for only a point. Yeah, right. Ball off hands. Dallas with a wobbly old kick onto his right foot. And scramble now. Lambshead fighting for it. Henry Peddler. Coughing after the ball. Peter Fitz onto his left foot. Kicks it in high. Dagwood underneath the ball and takes a great mark running backwards. Contested there by this one. Lines up now. Umpire moves across, but he's put it through for a goal. And Ramblers have gone to a lead of one point. The scores now. Mm. Ramblers aren't using this win. Somebody receives a free for a push in the back. Sorrell receives a free. Tries to play on, but is not allowed. Has to go right back. Now he's off. Goes over to the other side of the ground looking for Carr. Secker underneath it. Almost gives the free away for pushing the back. 
gets a kick, but it is Trevor Temple, I think, to relieve the pressure for Ramblers here in the back pocket. Looking, kicks out, looking for Henry Pedler, who's caught underneath it. Carr almost held a mark. Butch Pedler comes racing through, he's got a paddock. Looks, kicks, looking for Dagwood, but he overruns the ball. There is Oswald grabs now, gets grabbed himself, and that is Alan. Alan flicks the ball back to, but Peter Fitz intercepts on his left leg, kicks across to Mark Walker, who takes a mark on the on the right hand side, and the siren is gone. Well, here at half time with the players coming off the ground, there's nothing in the, the game. It's been low scoring, but but very tight. And all goes well for a great finish to the second half. Lambshed 10 kicks. At this, this stage, for Tommy Bay, uh, Lambshed's had 10 kicks. For him, it's relatively quiet. But 12. Higgins is playing well at centre. He's had 12 kicks and four. Right, Ramblers leading by one point at this stage. Four goal four to Tumby's four goal three. Very close and exciting game. Best players for Ramblers so far. Uh, Dagwood hasn't played quite as well, but he's still kicked three goals. Uh, Butch Peddler is doing his, his best. Uh, Neil Richardson has gone back to Stan Burton and doing very well against him. Burton has been uh, very quiet in that last, in the second quarter. Uh, Minard has just getting the better of uh, Shane Harris. It's in half back. Uh, Ron Koff is just starting to come into the game now. He's uh, he's could be a very telling player in this game. Happy Pedal is doing his stuff. Temple's doing his stuff at, in the back line. Henry is playing exceptionally well, following Brenton Lambshed around. Uh, Peter Fitz is playing well as usual. And Joe Dallas had a bit of a rough spin. He's also got a very bent nose at the moment. Bruce Black is doing his gear. And, uh, well, I, th I think from here, Ramblers can carry on now. And, uh, well, this is going to be the telling quarter, Tom. Ramblers just coming back onto the ground now, led by Joe Dallas this time. Best players for Tumby at this stage. I'd probably give it to Tony Higgins in the centre. He's picked up a lot of touches. Both wings have broken pretty even. Uh, Kramer's had a lot of touches on his wing, and I should say Paul Lockyer is on top on his wing. He's also picked up a lot of kicks. Mark Harris has held ten and a half back fairly well. A player that's been out of touch, but I'm, I'm glad to see him playing well today. He still played fairly well against a big opponent in Dagwood Peddler. Shane Harris had a good first quarter. But Minard, Minard got on top. Down towards, uh, who is it? Uh, there's a heap of players there. Ron Koff comes out with the ball, kicks it straight across the ground. But, Butch Peddler can't quite make it. He steps around one. He's gone almost. Yes, he's, he has been. It's Denny Cromer to have the free kicks. Kick straight in towards the centre to Shane Harris. Takes a mark all by himself. It's a short pass. Pee Wee Richardson comes through with a big fist and thumps it, but it goes straight back to Harris. It gets unloaded and kicks down towards Dunn on the left-hand forward flank. He's hooked it to wind. No, just hooked it offline. Three for one point. So that, that ties it up at this stage in the 1980. The back of the pack. This Ray Fitzgerald tapping the ball of Hedering now onto his left foot, kicks it along the boundary. Cave knocks it over the boundary line. And Peter Fitz one for Ramblers. And for Tommy Bay, one east to Dunn, Lambshed, Burton and Cromer. Now back to the play, there's a bit of a scramble over here. Higgins comes out of the ball. The umpires, umpires feeds. And the mark's taken at centre half back by Mark Harris, immediately plays onto his left foot. Kicks across towards the centre of the ground looking for Carr. But Gerard Secker drops in the front, knocks the ball to ground. Henry Pedler trying to pick it up, and he's given away a free. He's got into the back of Brenton Lambshed. He plays on. It goes across towards Ramblers. He drops it. Gavin Dunn it is. Handball's out quickly to nobody. Secker in the run of the ball. Can't pick it up. Taps it out now. Is that? Laurie. Uh, Laurie's trying to elude a play. Can't do. He's, he he's held without possession, and a free kick will go to Laurie. Just backward of centre for Ramblers. 
Looks to Joe Dallas now, but it's just kicks a bit short. Riddick nearly, nearly marks it. Lanchard picks up the crumbs across to Kramer with a good long handball. Kramer mishandles the ball back onto his left foot. Around the pack now, across towards the centre of the ground. Centre half forward, looking for Shane Harris. He can't mark it. Knocked away from him. Happy Peddler punches it out. Picked up by Lanchard. It's a high kick into the forward lines. And Pee Wee Richardson never a lot. Parsons had his back turned, but he, he's taken the mark. Goes back to take his kick now. Looking for Dallas up on the half forward flank, and Dallas takes a strong mark. Plays on immediately now, kicking it towards Dagwood Pedler at centre half forward. Gets into Oswald's back, goes unnoticed. Oswald recovers well onto his left foot, across towards the centre of the ground where Sorrell takes a mark. Nobody near him. Kicks wide across the western side now, looking for Gary Carr, and he takes his first mark for the day, I think. Kick short there, Shane Harris misses it. Gavin Dunn recovers well. Fumbles again, dodges round one player, he'll get caught. No, he kicks it in towards the goal, a wobbly kick, Burton in all by himself under the ball and takes a, a mark, steadies now, lines it up, comes in. I think it's a bit offline, but the umpire hadn't moved much. Yes, he's put it through. First goal to Tumby. I need a few with it. We should say they're moving out again, I suppose. For the ruck, using body, Sorrell in front, gets it down to Lambshed. Kicks it out towards Whitaker, who's in front of his immediate opponent, turns and races off, races forward, down towards Higo, but Higo misses it. Minard now has it, handballs it back to Richardson, who in turn gives a short kick and Danny Cromer picks it up. Turns around onto his left leg. Minard gets a push in the back by Harris, but Harris picks it up again. Happy Peddler picks it up, kicks it out wide. Aiming for the boundary line, I think. Danny Cromer's got it, but he just slips. Ball being thrown in. Blacker and Carr to contest. Blacker wins out at this stage and gets one too high around the neck. Take the free kick just backward of the half back line for Ramblers. Looking for leads. Has one in Ray Fitz. Takes another mark. Ray Fitz has played very well up to date. There's something in the region of 17 kicks at the, to this stage. Kicks up towards the wing. Straight through the hands of Hughes. <coughs> Darlitz was in there and uh, Darlitz versus... Sorrell, Darlitz wins out and it goes straight over the boundary line for a throw in on the true wing position on the eastern side of the ground. The Blacker versus Sorrell. Sorrell's in front. No, it's nullified. Coming through, Tumby get the clearing kick, but it's... Kicks it now, it's a long high kick, looking for Darlitz. Underneath it, no. Gary Carr from behind. Sorrell. Sorrell, it is, sorry. Yes, Sorrell took the mark over the top of Dalits at that time. Looking in towards Carr. No, it's too far for Carr. Ron Coff's underneath it. No. Tony Higgins. Tony Higgins takes a spectacular mark out of that pack. Gets the handball over to Carr, who twists and turns like a rover. It's looking for Burton. Richardson's there. Thumps the ball. Back to Higo. The at full forward. Gets and turn over to Dunn, over to Harry. And Harry is pushed just at the... Last moment by Minard, and uh, it is through for one point, taking Tumby one goal, one in front. Pee Wee Richardson kicks out now, a good long kick from this ex league player. Ball well contested, but Sorrell takes a good mark from behind the pack. Gary Carr's going down on the ground, looks like he's hurt. Sorrell comes in now with a long kick in the centre half forward, looking for Shane Harris. He comes from behind, and it's man in front, paid Minard. He's played a good game the second quarter onwards. A great mark there taken by the old stage of Ronnie Coff. Goes back now, goes wide. Looking for the other Ruckman and Blacker. He can't make the ball, but he's been paid a free kick for in the back. Goes up towards half forward flank looking for Dalitz. It's over his head. Play on call, a bit of a scramble here. Parsons kicks the ball up. Goes in, handballs over here, hits the ground, but Allen picks up well. Goes wide, looking for Lockyer, he shows a turn of pace, can't pick it up, but does recovers well onto his left foot. Good pass into Dunn. He misses it. Pressured here. Shane Harris goes to meet the ball, and he's met too high, and he'll receive a free kick. He's on a 45 degree angle, probably 45 to 50 metres out. His best shot could do it from here. He's a very accurate kick. The league's leading goal kicker this year.
and I wouldn't be surprised if he put it through from this distance. Lines up now. He's offline this time though. Ball dropping short. It's punched away again by Richardson. Or cough it was. Kramer reads the crumbs under his left foot and snaps, but it's offline for another point to Tumby. The rim was four goal four. Goes in short now, looking for Peter Fitz. Marks it easily on the chest. Lamshed standing the mark. Another short little pass in here. A loose checking here by Tumby Bay. It's Henry Peddler with the ball. And a half-back flank for Rambles. Goes wide towards the wing. On the outer side of the ground. There's a big pack fly. It's off hands. Up to Rambles. Ray Fitz again. He's played a great game for Rambles. Benton Parsons knocks the ball on, but he's hipped out of it well by Owens there. Kramer comes in after the ball now. He's met heavily. Goes across towards Hughes. It is from the wing. He can't pick it up. Lamshed with the ball. Tackled. Cave. Onto his left foot, which is a natural foot, kicks it in towards centre half forward. Locker up, he's under the ball. Gary Carr across to Dunn. He's running now, one bounce, he's missed it. Peter Fitz has got the ball. Fitzgerald still chasing the ball, but well intercepted by Mooney here. Back to Gavin Dunn, a handball across to Whitaker. He goes towards centre half forward to Gary Carr, and he's missed it. Gerard Secker picks it up. Carr in off the ball again. Tony Higgins comes into the play. Onto his left foot. It's across to Shane Harris all by himself. And you can put your glasses down. He won't miss this one. We're directly behind him. Oh, he's missed that. It's just off the side. Yes, you're right, Tom. You had to put the Jonah on him. Off the side for one point. Ron Koff takes a beautiful mark. Flying across the front of the pack. Pulls it down. No worries. Gets the kick up along the wing, looking for Darlitz, and he takes the mark too. It's a beautiful job. He kicks a shocker straight up in the air. Pack forms underneath it. Ray Fitz has the run, taps it up forward. Is that Mark Harris? Knocks it over the boundary line. Just forward of the centre of the wing for Ramblers. Ball is thrown in. Blacker and Sorrell contest. Ball goes down into a Pack. Mark Harris comes out with it under the left leg, looking for Tony Higgins, finds him, and he's off. He runs right into the centre-half forward position, but it's a shocking kick. He goes straight to Ron Koff, running past the pack, left footer, looking up there for Dagwood Peddler, who's got the run. Those two are about the same pace, Dagwood and Darlitz, to contest with Sorrell. Darlitz wins out, ball comes down to... No, the umpire's found a free, it's going the way of Ovens, Ovens for Tumby Bay at the centre half back flank for Tumby. In towards the centre, Higgins. Bad luck there by Peddler slip just as he leapt. Higgins drives the ball forward up to the centre half forward line, finds Harris. Minard caught behind at that time. And Harris will now put it right in. Uh, Higo's on the lead. No, it isn't Higo, it's Danny's short pass. Looking for Harry and he gets, gets thumped as well. 15 yards, and it's a bloody beauty 15 yards. It's about 30 in my books. But oh well, it's, it was there. Chaz is not much of a judge of distance. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tom. The gift horse. What's he done with it? Is it his first goal? Yes. First goal to Harris. He's kicked one goal for Tumby. Now go on to seven goal seven. Six seven. Six, seven. So 15 points the difference. Sorrell versus Peddler. Both tap it the same way. Fitzgerald, no. Higgins, no. Out. Laurie on the left leg. Gets a kick. Short. Danny Cromer chips in on his left leg. Kicks it up. Second will take the mark and off. He goes looking up there for Walkup, but Walkup trips at the vital stage. Peter Allen takes a safe mark to relieve for the pressure for Tumby. Kicks up towards Gary Carr and takes a mark. It's his second run for the game, I think. Off he goes, looking in there towards Sorrell. Sorrell is dropped it. Cromer picks up the crumbs across to Whitaker. Whitaker bolts around, looking for Higgins, but too far for Higgins, and the ball goes over his head. Sorrell grabs the ball out of the air, turns around and kicks blindly back in towards the centre. It's contested by Fitzgerald and somebody, but Pee Wee comes through and gets a kick away. Out there towards Ray Fitz, who's had a boomer today. Turns around, gets it back onto his boot. The ball goes very close to the boundary line and over the, over the fence. Oh, other side of the centre. Ovens gets a big handball down to Lambshed, picks up. He's tackled, gets a kick under pressure. Higgins comes through. 
misses. Ron Koff now has the ball, gets a short kick into nobody in between. Tickula Southo comes, ducks, rides the bump, gets down, down to Sorrell at the centre half forward position. Turns around, looks, almost started to put it right in. It's a long high kick, it's not too far off, but uh, it's through for a point. Went through all the pack. There's about eight players there. Went through the lot of them. It's loose checking here again by Tumby. I have to pick these players up in the back line. Temple it is with the ball. Kicks over wide now over towards the half back flank, looking for Henry Pelo. He takes a mark, all uncontested. <coughs> They go up looking for Dalitz. Ball punched away from him by Mark Harris. He's played a great game on Dalitz today. It was back there where Henley Peddler takes the ball once again. Half back flank at 35 metres around from the goal. He kicked up, long kick, bit high towards the wing, car under the ball, taken off hands by Parsons. Another high kick into the wind. Oswald under the ball. The Peddler with the ride this time over the back. Dag what it is. But Southern take the ball on his chest. Dual directed kick. Ball relayed back to Southern now. He goes wide. Out towards the outer side wing. Whitaker takes the ball. Goes back now. Kramer in the lead. Just kick long down towards Chain Harris. Sorrell. Nobody can mark the ball with soft hands. Ronnie Coff takes it like a rover. Across there to Temple, I think it is. No, it's Hughes, the winger. By himself, swings around, goes across towards the centre of the ground. Great interception there by Lockyer, and yes, Allen's should have been holding the ball. Might be a parochial decision on my part, but uh, I feel it was holding the ball in that case. Not very high off the ground, Tom. Chas says he's not very high off the ground. Anyway, one of the players in there towards Darlitz, he's interfered with, and he'll receive the free right in front. Umpire runs across, but he's made no mistake. It's another goal to Peddler. That's his fourth. And Ramblers keep a little bit closer. It's only 10 points of difference. Blacker versus Carr. It's up. It goes nowhere. Ray fits in the lead. No. Mooney. Mooney grabs the ball now onto his left leg, looking for Lambshed and finds him. Kicks the ball down, looking for uh, Dunn. But Ron Coff's in the road, grabs the ball and is looking for the safe side of the ground, looking out there for spike, spike fits. But uh, Whitaker was in front, tapped down. Pee Wee Richardson goes through like a rover and kicks the ball. R versus Blacker again. Up it goes, Blacker's got too much bulk. Go, Mark Walker goes through, misses. Cromer grabs the ball, chips it in. And Sorrell has taken yet another mark on that centre half forward line. Played a lot better this quarter. Taking those marks. Kicks across here to to him. Lockyer. Lockyer kicks it in, but it's a bit short. Ron Koff should take the mark, yes. Does get put. We'll kick out to the opposite side of the ground. Looks short for Bruce Blacker and finds him. Yes. He grabbed the ball and he also got a thump in the head, so he receives a free. And he gets the ball back very quickly. Oh, Whitaker. Blacker. Looking up, handballs across to Richardson. Good play. Peewee boots it right down to the wing to Greg Hughes. Grabs the ball. He's off. Has a bounce. Running through. Kicks. Looking for Darlitz. And he holds the mark. And he handballs on extremely quickly to Dagwood. And across to Peter Fitz, who in turn drops it across to Butch Peddler, who should have no... Distance will be no worries. He lines it up now. Wind slightly across his shoulder. He's hooked it a little bit. Yes, it's only a point. Fade away to the left-hand side. He should have got that goal. Would have been now. He's played pretty well today, even though he's had goals kicked against him. Sorrell comes in. Henry Pellers has received a free kick for interference. Hit too high there towards the scoring zone. Kicked high in towards Big Joe Dallas. Flies too early. It's taken off hands by Cave. Tries to get a handball out, but it's intercepted by Ray Fitzgerald. Ball scrambled towards the goals, and it's gone through for another point. Rambus to take the scores to Tommy Bay, six goal eight, Rambus five goal six. The other side of the ground this time, Locker on the lead and he's taken a real good mark in the pack. Almost tried to play on but fortunately for Tommy Bay he steadied. Looking for a lead now, looks towards Carr, 
Henry Peter over the top, can't mark it. Lanshead with the handball to Caulfield, he's caught. It gets away from the tackle, plays on towards Harris, but Minard in the best position takes a good saving mark. Goes wide now, looking for Blacker, it's too far out in front of him. He's picked it up though, he's tackled. Yes. Hughes it is for Rambus, tries to get the ball. It's back to Tummy Bay, picked up by Sutherland, a long way from his back pocket. Kicks it in towards the forward pocket, looking for Burton. He nearly marks the ball with a soft hands. Kramer backed up again, forced wide into the pocket. Ball's going high into there. Burton and Harris underneath it. And it's Richardson, who once again clears for Rambus. He's had a good quarter this quarter, Neil Richardson. So cross now to Walker, who takes a mark on his chest unopposed. Lamb's just standing the mark, forces him wide, but it goes across here to Secker by himself. Drops what he should have taken. It recovers well. Tackle by Southern. Held without position. Secker plays on now. Going towards the half forward flank. Oswald backs up well. Handball's across to Locker. He hasn't got it. Southern picks it up. On, onto the right boot. He's too slow. He's caught. Play on calls the umpire. It's across now to Walker, I think it is. Rambus into attack, three Ray Fitzgerald going in long, Dale it's all by himself there, can he, hang on, the umpire's brought the play back. Two metres off the end of the square. And makes no mistake about it, it puts Ramblers onto six goal six, following Tumby Bay only six goal eight, two points the difference at this stage, and it looks like building into a real thriller, this grand final. Out to Lockyer. Lockyer, turns onto his left leg, kicks it long, ball bounces straight in the air, Henry Peddler's underneath it, gets a kick straight towards the boundary line, Ray Fitz is approaching it but the beats all players and crosses the boundary line directly in between the, uh, what well, could be almost described as a boxing ring here between the supporters. Carr wins the tap from Blacker, Minard comes through, kicks, playing very well at this stage Chris Minard, looking for Bruce uh, Butch Peddler grabs the ball, handballs across to Walker who is tagged, gets the handball out. No, umpire said it was a throw. So that John Sutton to take the free kick at centre half back, kicks it down towards the centre. Hughes, Cromer, Carr, Sorrell. Sorrell. Sorrell's got it. Peter Fitz kicks up towards Blacker, but Ozzy's in front of him again. And it's picked up there by Cave, and that is the the end of the third quarter with Tumby Bay six goal eight leading Ramblers six goal six. Look as the supporters swarm onto the ground to stir their players up. Well, this, this stage I hate to say it, but I think Tumby are looking down the barrel with Ramblers to come home with the advantage of this fairly stiff breeze, which would be worth two to three goals. Hartle bounces the ball now. His car in against Butch Peddler. Car gets a knock. Lambshed, first kick. It's going up towards centre half forward. Nobody gets it. Higgins with the handball. Cross, but Dunn misses it. Back onto his left foot now. Goes in looking for Burton. He can't control the ball. And Richardson runs it over the line. Ball thrown in now. And Sowell up against Peter Fitzgerald, I think it was, went for the tap. And Peter Fitzgerald got it. It's going across to Gerard, second on half back flank. Take Rambus out of danger zone. He doesn't know where to go. He's holding play up a little bit. It's a long boomer of a torpedo punt right down to the wing. Really cleared the ball away. The ball's knocked out over the boundary line. No in on the outer side of the ground. Carr shepherds out. The ball across to Michael Harris. He can't get his kick in. Ronnie Coff tries to handball. It's a bit of a scramble. It's Graham Laurie who comes away with it with a short little chip across to Parsons. He's out by himself, just forward of centre. He goes in now, but Southern's there and takes a mark, tries to play on, he's almost caught. Harvins it is, kicks the ball high. Parsons under the ball, drops it. Mark Harris it is, with a little handball out to Kramer, backing up, he's caught. Handballs, back to Harris. Picks it up now, under the right boot. He's dropped after he kicks it, but the umpire lets it go. Peter Fushell comes in and takes a timely mark for Rambus. On the wing, just in front of the crowd. Goes short now. Henry Peddler marks it inches inside the boundary. Bully said it was out on the fall, but it was inside. 
Long screw punt now to the half forward flank, looking for Dagwood Peddler. He can't mark it. It's knocked away by Oswald. Goff picks it up, screws it back. Alan Arford bounces over his head. Fitzgerald across to Butch Peddler, and here's a goal into the open goal. A good play by Rambers, and that puts him in front. And Tumbia. Peddler versus Sorrell. Peddler wins out, gets it down to Fitzgerald, puts a big boomer of a kick up along the wing. It goes out of bounds on the full. Just kicks in towards the centre. Sorrell underneath it. Gary Carr takes a mark. Looks up towards Cromer. Hughes and Cromer do battle. Walkup comes out with it. Gets a handball to nobody. Higgins looking for goals. Kick puts it right up. Richardson, can he get there? Yes. Richardson takes a mark right in the square for Ramblers. And kicks out straight away, looking for Henry. Henry and Lambshed having a good battle today. Henry gets it over the top of his head back to Secker. Secker kicks a big long one up to the wing. Graham Laurie's underneath it. Can he mark it? Yes, he has. Kicks it up towards Ray Fitz on the wing. No worries about that. He did that with ease. He's looking. Puts a short pass in towards Ron Koff, who's uh, held. There's no free. Koff is outnumbered, but uh, Danny Cromer receives a free for in the back, and he's off. And gets onto that left leg, looking up here for, yeah, handball to Higgins. Higgins puts it up. Happy Pedelec, does he take a mark? Yes, he does. Very good intercepting mark there taken by Happy. Steadying things down. Looks over to the other side, looks out there for Secker and Pedler. Secker takes a mark to relieve it once again for Ramblers. They can't seem to get it past centre at the moment. Ray Fitz takes a mark. Ray Fitz kicking up towards the centre wing, looking for Darlitz. Darlitz has got a first touch. Bounces it. Blacko versus Carr. Carr wins. It comes down to Walker. He's holding the ball. Bit tough there. Gavin Dunn to take the free kick. <coughs> Just forward of the centre line for Tumby. Kicks it up into the woods of centre. Up towards Barton. Peewee Richardson. Out numbers him and it's and it's uh, Mooney. Mooney. Got pressured with pocket. Richardson versus Higgins. Higgins grabs it. He kicked it. But it's I think it's yes, just the one point. Good pressure there by Richard. He'll be looking for a long one to clear it right out of there for Ramblers. And it is too. Goes right up in the air looking for Bruce Blacker. Gets shepherded out. Graham Laurie. Walk up. Ball comes to Danny Cromer. Handball's out to nobody. Sorrell's got it. Kicks it forward. Kicks it forward. Happy Peddler picks it up. Little chip shot over to Trevor Temple. Picks it up. Kicks it. Looking for Butch Peddler. Doesn't find him. Gary Carr picks up the ball. He can move like a rover, this bloke. Gets back onto his left leg. Kicks it back. Happy Peddler and Temple contest against each other. The umpire's found a free. Push in the back, being awarded to once again. It's a big, long screw punt. Looking for Ron Koff. No, he hasn't found him. He's got three blokes on him at this stage. Gary Carr is grabbed. The ball goes out into the pack. He's holding the ball. Goes against Michael Harris. Hasn't had the best of days, poor old Mick. Peter Fitz to take the free. Staying out on that wing. Looking down, and Joe Darlitz takes the mark. No, just about. Haven't done enough the ball. Gerard Secker gets a run of it now. Makes front position and knocks the ball out over the boundary line in front of him on the wing again. The ball about to be thrown in. This car against Placker. Lockyer tries to pick it again. up. Carr grabs the ball out of the air. Handballs it across to Mooney onto his left foot. And I think he's put it out on the full. Yes, he has. Punched away, off hands, taken by Tony Higgins under his left foot. He's got a ton of pace, breaks away from the pack, screws it back around, but a good mark there taken by Temple in the back pocket. For Ramblers, goes back, steadies now, taking his time, kicks it long down towards the wing. Car under the ball, knocked it away there from Joe Darlitz. Joe's had a pretty quiet day today for him. 
Thrown in once again. Blacker gets the tap in front. Across to Peter Fitzgerald. A little short. Kick it along the ground. A real worm burner. Kay picks it up onto his left foot. It's a real seesaw battle at this stage. It's taken off hands by Peter Fitz again. Coming into the game. Kay traps the ball. Handball. Changes his mind. Gets it onto his left boot. Kramer under the ball. It's punched away from him by Laurie. Blacker in there trying to get it off the ground. Bit of a scramble. Tapped out here. Lambshed's got it. Goes for a run. It's a beautiful pass to Michael Harris all by himself. Touches the ground with the ball. Kicks it in high now looking for Burton. Whitaker there. With a beautiful tap away by Richardson. He's played a great game of fullback position. Happy Peddler's got the ball now. Has one bounce. It's a long screw punt down into Rambler's forward line. Puts Peddler jumps 40 feet into the air but that goes under the ball. It's knocked out by Peter Allen. Mooney knocks it on back to Lambshed. He played for the free and got it. Showing all his wiles there. Trying to lift his side up a bit so they can get back into this game. There's nothing in at this stage. Cross to Higgins. Uses the ball beautifully. Higo breaks away now. He's got a, a lot of pace at first five yards. Kicks it in high. And a good mark by Shane Harris. He's been well held by Minato up to this stage. Tumby really need him to come back into it. Kramer makes a good lead out into the pocket all by himself. He's let Arntz. Should get it right into the square. So screw Pandas coming back. He's got the distance and he's kicked the point. 50 yards up his sleeve. And then in turn puts it along to Greg Hughes, who gets caught by Michael Harris just as he marks the ball. In looking. He puts a pass in towards Peter Fitz into the centre. Left all by himself. Gets onto his left foot, looking for Dagwood Peddler and found him. Dagwood, I think, would be too far out to score a goal. He could kick a point, but I don't think he'd get the accuracy at this stage. But I hope he proves me wrong. Kick. And it looks uh, not quite the distance. But it's knocked through for a point. Which is Oswald kicks out. Looking out there for for Sorrell, I think. But Henry Peddler has chipped in front and taken the mark. We'll put it right into this full forward line now. The big screw punt. Darlot's underneath it. Can he hold it? Yes. He has taken the mark. He is 20 metres out on a 40 degree angle. Moving in to take his kick. What's he done? The umpire moves. One point only. Well, what did I say about mince meat, Tom? Yes, Chaz, that could be a costly miss, that one. It could have made the dual trailing. They need to get it down and attack and score if they're going to make this interesting. It's a good mark here from the kickoff taken by Dalitz. He's been out of the game all day, but he's, he looks like he's starting to put some in. Whether he can get the accuracy is the thing. On a slight angle. It's a big kick. I think it'll drop short. It's right in the square. The pack flies. It's off hands. There's a scramble. It's tapped out. Cave knocks it on to Kramer. He looks for a man like he always does, and it's across to Mooney. He took his eye off the ball when he shouldn't have. And Rambers have got it. It's a wobbly little left foot kick. And eventually it's knocked out of bounds by with a handball. The ball down towards Higgins. He can't handle it. Oswald tries to get it. I think he's caught. No. Could have been holding the ball there, but it was held to him. He couldn't get rid of it. And the umpire's called for a bounce. Thanks, Tom. Able to bounce the ball. Peddler versus Sorrell. Nullified. Lambshed picks up the crumbs. Gets the ball across towards the centre line. Alan's got it. Alan. Seca dies on the bottom of the pack. Laurie picks it up. In comes uh, Henry Peddler, I think it is. Across to Seca. Seca picks it up one hand. Gets it onto his right boot. Down towards the forward line. Darlitz, no. Gets thumped away. Parsons grabs, snaps the ball up very cleverly, bit not back to use. And Peter Trelaw takes a mark and off the side of the boot, but it's a good pass out to Peter Fitz. <laughs> Running in. The umpire moves and it's another point. Well, I can't pick him at all today. 
I think the pressure is Carr. Black is in front of him. Almost takes the mark. Gets recovers well. On to Ray Fitz. Ray Fitz hooks it back in towards the centre. Looking for Dagwood. Peter Allen. Peter Allen gets the ball out to Tony Higgins. Tony Higgins. Cool, quick kick up to Michael Harris who takes a mark almost in the centre of the ground. Right on the cricket pitch. Off he goes. McInerney now to have the to take the kick. The interchange player for Ramblers. Ron Koff flies high and takes a good mark. Beautiful mark. <coughs> He'd be looking for Dagwood Peddler now, I would think. Yes, there he goes. It's on. Can he reach it? Yes, no worries about that at all. Showed a bit of pace there, the old Daggy. Just a fraction too much for Aussie at that stage. Lining up with the screw punt. Where's it gone? Offline. Darlitz almost takes a mark and it goes... Ball gets thrown in. It's knocked away by Sorrell. Lamb shedded in the run. Got the ball. Has a bounce. Running straight up towards the centre. Michael Harris takes a beautiful mark there at the centre of the ground. Looking quick. Gets it across to Caulfield. Caulfield, who in turn gets it up to Danny Cromer. It takes a dive under Tony Higgins. Secker intercepts. Gets held without the ball. And the free will go to Jared Secker at the centre half back line for Ramblers. Big kick up towards over the centre line to Ronkoff, and he takes it. He's got a very strong pair of hands as this lad. Took that mark under a lot of pressure. Looks in for Joe Darlitz. Will he get it? No. It's a bit too high for him. Ray Fitz across to Mark Harris. It's having a run. He looks over his shoulder. That'll make Bristle stand up there. And he kicks it up to nobody in particular. There was three Ramblers there, all by themselves. I think he was looking behind him more than in front of him. Gets it out to Ray Fitz there anyhow. Gets it across to Peter Trelaw, who's having his first run. Butch Peddler jumps up in the air and takes it at his ankles. Tries to handball it under Peter Fitz, but gets thumped away from him. John Southern picks it up, kicks it out. And uh, who was that? Ray Fitz, I think. Yes. He'll be looking for somebody and he'll plant it on their chest. Joe Darlitz. He mark it. Yes, it's a beautiful mark. Taken at the true centre-half forward position for Ramblers by Joe Darlitz here. He's limping a bit on that ankle. I don't know which one. Lining him up with only minutes left in the game. Tries to kick the ball too hard. Ron Koff gets a shove in the back but it goes unnoticed. The ball goes across. No, still in play. Peter Fitz hooks it back. But John Southern takes a comfortable mark right in the goal square for Ramblers. Clear, kicks it out, looking for Gary Carr, but Joe Darlitz was there to intercept. Joe grabs hold of him. Peter Trelaw picks it up. He's a bit slow. He's out of the tempo of the game. Carr gets a free kick. Try to get the, force the ball down towards Tumby's forward lines. Kicks the ball up. Bruce Blacker takes a mark over the top of Brenton Lambshed. Bruce Blacker running in, kicks it up, right up into the teeth of goal. Dagwood can't take it. Peter Fitz has got the run of it. He doesn't miss too many. What's he done with that? A point. Tom, I'll hand over to you. Yes, lap point has made it all that much harder. For, they've got the lead. It's a good mark by Sorrell from the kick out. Plays onto the wing now, the lamb shed. They badly need a goal here. Attacking move by Tumby. He's across with Kramer leading. Now the ball goes along the ground. Kramer gets it on the, quickly onto the boot, up forward, but Happy Peeler intercepts and clears it out wide. Using his experience as a backman there, keeping the ball wide and wasting a bit of time. Rambles have got the time, but Tumby can ill afford to waste it. They badly need a goal here. Lambshit takes the ball from the throw in. He's, he's been clocked in the back of the... Oh, he got the free kick. Cross to Higgins. It's knocked away from him. Mick Caulfield picks up the crumbs, swings around to his right boots, across to Danny Kramer now. Plays on towards Michael Harris into an open goal, and what's he done? He's put it through. And it's only two points of difference now. This is anyone. They bounce the ball now. Pedal has got the tap. It's across to Higgins, under Michael Harris. Whoever can get a goal here will win this game. It's Lockyer in the car. Tumby are going forward, it's on the half forward flank. It's a long kick in there now. Mooney in front, he can't mark it, it's knocked away from him. Peter Fitzgerald under the right boot. 
Back towards Carr. He's interfered with the pace. Goes on. Across to Caulfield, burrowing in on the ground now. He gets it up now. It's held by one hand. Played on. Lockyer across the car. Play letting, letting go on a bit now. I think the umpire might be getting a bit rattled. Harris was running to an open goal, but he was brilliantly tackled at the last minute. And Rambles get out of trouble once again. The ball's kicked out on the, their half-back flank. Across to Chaz. I can't stand it. Thanks, Tom. I don't know. I'm sitting down too. Lambshed gets the kick into Harris, drops it, gets, and the ball is forced across the boundary line here. Ball coming back into play. Ron Koff now in ruck against Carr. Carr wins, gets it, gets the tap down, but Ron Koff recovers well, gets the handball onto Peter Trelaw, who is grabbed immediately. Oh, yeah, and the umpire says he's pushed in the back. I would have thought, well, the boundary umpire called it out of bounds, so I would have, I would have left it at that. How's that for an unbiased comment, Tom? Yes, Chaz. <laughs> Ball kicked back high now towards Dalitz. It's punched away from him. Taken off hands by Caulfield. Across the cave. He kicks it in towards centre-half forward there. Mooney under the ball. He can't mark it. Danny Kramer in there fighting. Rambles with the run of the ball now. Hughes it is onto his left foot. It's a little worm burner along the ground. Southern comes in, backing up brilliantly from the back pocket. He kicks towards the half-back flank. That's how far away he was. Shane Harris has got it, plays on now to Kramer. It's across to Michael Harris. Can he score? No, he's tackled. They've mulled it again. Rambler's come out of defence. Oh, is this a thriller? Spike Fitzgerald's got it. Kicks it wide now. <coughs> well punched away there. It's right here in the centre wing position. Dead in front of us, and there must only be seconds left. Boundary umpire ordering people off the ground. I've been out there all day. He's wasting the precious time on that's left for Tumby. It's level on the scoreboard. It's level on the scoreboard, so Tom tells me at the moment. This is a real cliffhanger. Whoever gets this get next point or goal is a winner. And it comes out of defence from Tumby into, up towards Lambshed. Can't quite grab it. Gloria's in possession. Tries the handball across to Trelaw. Can't grab it. With, uh, and it kicked straight down Peter Fitz's throat, who quickly gets it on to Joe Darlett. He turns, picks, looking for Brent Parsons and found him out all by himself. And he's bad played by Tommy at this stage of the game. I had to come back here next week and do it again, Tom. Yes, Chaz, I don't think I can stand another dose of this. Trey Fitzgerald knocks it and it's gone off the ground and Ramblers have scrambled it through for a point and I think that could be the deciding factor. One little easy Kramer it was. A free kick going here to Gary Carr from the kick out in the back pocket. Over the shoulder. It's a long way to the other end. <laughs> We're not too sure how much time's left. <laughs> His opponent kicks it towards the centre. It's Higgins. He's quick. He'll break away. He's caught. Across the southern. No, he's been paid for holding the ball. Yeah, very good tackle by a Peter good, Fitz. Good tackle by Peter Fitzgerald. He's playing a good captain's game. Steadying the game up now. He's taken all the time in the world. Goes in. Who's he looking for? It's a Ray Fitzgerald, his brother, out on the flank. Too far out to score. But they're playing possession football now, Rambers. Ronnie Coff's got it. I'll hand you back to Chaz for the final moments. No, he doesn't wonder. He's having a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie Peddler goes back, he's on a very acute angle, you'll make the distance, Ronnie. And there's that horrible bloody siren. And the Ramblers have won by one point. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks Tom. <laughs> you bloody ripper. Well Ramblers taking out this grand final, if the scoreboard is correct, they've won by one point. One little point. The Rambler players are ecstatic. Feel sorry for Tumby Bay. They'll set the standard all year. They set the standard all year. They've come in. The Ramblers, well, they are the Evergreens. They had the finals experience and they just pulled it off by one point. Credit to the Tumby fight all day. Well, the old saying go, the winners can laugh, the losers can please themselves. Well, it's no fun being on a losing side. Especially in a grand final, that's twice as bad. I feel very sorry. Tom, 
Yes, Taz. Well, there's not much I can say. I'm I'm in the loser's van. I feel sorry for Brenton Lambshead. He's he's done a terrific job with the boys this year. Last last year in Port Lincoln, they get to the grand final and only one little kick away from winning it. Never mind. There's always next year. It was good football by both sides on the day. Tied all day in a low-scoring contest. Someone has to win. Someone has to lose. Great game. Tom tells a bit of a story. The song says, uh, up there, 